updated house tour because we haven't done one in over a year and yeah. a lot of change in the house so we thought we would do a little bit of an updated one yeah um, if you don't know already we live in a Taylor Wimpy Beckford two okay. bed house yeah. um, and we've lived here for a year and a half now mm, over a year and a half it's gone mega quick yeah. and like I said a lot has changed since we did the last one so we thought we'd show you around again it's a very dreary day today in England so the house is not like bright, unfortunately, but it normally would be. It normally would be. The first room that you come to when you enter the house is actually the kitchen. It's quite a small kitchen, but it does the job, doesn't it, Fab? It does, and I like the way that this is like arched. Yeah, open. Yeah. Um, and there's no door. There's no door, yeah. But however, this is quite a small kitchen, but there is loads and loads of storage. So we've got obviously drawers. We've got stuff in there. Stuff in there. Big old snack drawer. Snack drawer. I mean, we've got loads of Easter eggs at the moment. Thanks, Mum, for donating <laughs> us all them. And then obviously loads of cupboards, but we're not going to open the cupboards because things will probably fall out. <laughs> so, so this is the basic kitchen that comes with the Taylor Wimpy house. We didn't have any of the extras. Um, so I think this kitchen came as standard, didn't it? It did, uh, yeah. So we didn't have to pay anything extra for this kitchen. So we went for a dark worktop, I can't remember exactly the name, and then like lighter cupboards. We've got Zanussi Hob, an oven which are really good and then we got a Beko Beko fridge that we actually got second hand didn't we? We did and we've got the washing machine which is We bought that there. too, hot point washing machine and then the sink is, I mean excuse the washing up but the sink is very standard. We're yet to upgrade this, we're going to get a new tap. And then we've got this shelf with some fake flowers, a photo of Ellen's brother, We've got these marble tiles, which I'm not a massive fan of, to be honest, but they do the job. So this thing is a, actually a cereal um, dispenser, but I put all my washing up liquid in there. So I've got my white and stuff in there, my unstoppables in there, and then I just have the tablets and stuff under here with my softeners. Over opposite the kitchen, we've got a downstairs bathroom, which is a pretty good size considering it's so near yeah. um, relatively small house. We painted the back wall like this really lovely gray. Um, Can you remember the name of it? Goose Down. Goose Down. Goose Down. We've got the same marble tiles um, and we've gone for like a white and black theme in here. Yeah, these are mirror. from Decenio. Yeah, prints from Decenio and then this this towel is from H&M. And then you've got the hallway which is very small. I mean, let's measure how I'm six foot three, so just a little bit longer than me. <laughs> okay. So, just in case you were wondering, we've got a print here, which is from Decenio, which very much sums up the house. This is the tidiest you'll ever see it. This is another picture of Ellen's brother. And then we have got the stairs here, which this is the first house I've lived in with stairs. I lived in a bungalow with my mum and dad. So when we moved in here, I spent about two weeks just running up and down the stairs. <laughs> he did, and yeah. you can Took, it's really fun. Actually. You took time getting used to the stairs, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I've fallen down them about seven times. Three of those were in one day, um, which was quite recent. We've got a little vase on the stairs, but Ellen has stripped it. So now it looks horrendous because she's used all the flowers for her bridesmaids' bouquets. So well done, Ellen. Moving on through to the living room, which is a decent size at the moment. There's quite a bit of light coming in. This is probably the most light we get coming into the living room. It's not that bright because the sun doesn't really, is at the front of the house, yeah. As you come through the living room, this is our storage cupboard, which I will warn you now, it's not tidy. And we've also got someone who Lives. works <laughs> in the cupboard, just organizing it all for us. Yeah, this um, is actually where I work. <laughs> how do you find it working for us? Do you know what, right? The wage is pretty shit. <laughs> Rage is pretty shit. Ignore that. <laughs> so yeah, this is our cupboard downstairs. It's an absolute mess. Oh, we should have tidied that up. Yeah. I mean, no one's, no one's cupboard is, well, they, yeah, they are, but 
I'll cover this one clean. So in the living room, we have got our sofa, which we actually got in a sale from Harvey's, um, a closing down sale, so you can't get this anymore. But it's like a kind of marble, would you call it marble? Like concrete yeah. kind of effect. Yeah. You can tell that we've gone for a grey vibe here, um, <laughs> which we still do like, but I think moving into our next house, we're going to do something different, aren't we? Yeah. Like a neutral kind of vibe. Yeah. But it looks clean and it works. So above the sofa, we've got mirrors, which we actually got from Home Bargains, didn't we? Which were like 10 quid or something, mm. super cheap. And they look all right. And then we have got this foot, is it a footstool? Yeah, like a poof. A poof? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's um, called a poof. We've got this poof, which, <laughs> um, are you sure it's called a poof? I'm gonna wet myself. A poof A. <laughs> so we've got this poof A. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we got this footstool. Was it furniture direct? One two three. Furniture one two three. Or no, three, it was two, one. no, it was five four five six. <laughs> We got this foot from Furniture123, uh, which was actually re very reasonably priced, wasn't it? Like 250 quid yeah. or something. Yeah. It's actually quite big, I'll demonstrate. It's on. Like Just in this. case you didn't know how to use a footstool. Oh. This is my favourite part of the living room. We have got our floating TV cabinet. Watch it fall off the wall now any <laughs> second. No, we've got this floating TV cabinet, which we got from Ikea, which is like a grey concrete effect to match the sofa. We'll put the name of it on the screen because we always get asked what it's called. Yeah. We are very proud because we mounted this to the wall ourselves with no experience whatsoever and it was a bit of an ordeal, but we managed to get it done. We um, used Grip It wall plugs, which are absolutely amazing if you've got a new build. They just allow you to secure stuff a lot better. So the TV and the floating cabinet are with Grip It wall plugs. The TV is a Sony Bravia, is it? I, don't know. I can't remember what size, but We've got it mounted to a bracket that allows you to turn the TV like this. So we will sit on the sofa and watch TV. And I know that my days are coming where this is just going to fall off. So I'm just going to like enjoy it. No, it, it won't. No, nah, we did a good job, I think, of that. It's pretty secure. So as my sister is currently <laughs> demonstrating, <laughs> without a plate. Oh, we. <laughs> This is our dining room table. I didn't want to create um, more washing up. <laughs> no, it's fine. This is our dining room table. Um, yeah, concrete effect, similar to the sofa and the TV cabinet. It's from Ikea too, isn't it's it? It's from Ikea and the chairs are from Etsy, but the chairs are no longer available on Etsy. And we sprayed the legs black as well. They yeah. came this horrible like sand colour, Wood didn't they? Colour. Apologies if you've got them in that colour. but Come up upstairs. Is that you talking to me or the <laughs> people? Come okay, on, you've got to be a bit more so enthusiastic. So now we're going to show you upstairs. Um, so yeah, upstairs. Here we've got photos of our oh, family. Yeah. Actually, these things. Oh, yeah. So we've got stair lights that are actually so handy because when you go up and down stairs at night time, you can see where you're going. You don't have to switch the light on. Or if you need to go to the toilet in the night, yeah, they just come on when you need to go to the toilet. So yeah, upstairs. So as you come upstairs, you've got like a little hallway here. Um, again, not too big, but big enough. Mm. Um, then you've got the picture here that Fab got me for Christmas. Yeah, this is like a custom one. It's kind of hard. To, you can see it's a picture of me and Al. And then up close, it's got words on it. And then it's got the date that we got together. This is from Mapperful, I think. And you come into our room. So this is like one of my favourite rooms in the house because it's just so bright, because the sun's at the front of the house, the bedroom is also bright. Mm -hmm. And because we've got quite a lot of like textures and stuff in here, I just think it goes really nicely together. Yeah. And um, so we've got the bed here. I'm not even gonna go into the bed saga again. Mm, it's from it's from Arista Living and we wouldn't recommend and we'll leave it at that. Not great. No, we didn't have very good customer service with them. No. The bed's all right, just yeah. not the customer mm. service. We've got some bedside tables, which were actually secondhand again. They're glass, but well, they're actually mirror. But they were so, like, we really wanted the mirror, didn't we? Mm. In effect. And people were like, don't get a mirror, it's so hard to clean. Actually, it's not that hard to clean. No. Um, they're really good, apart from the fact that Fab has now smashed his side because he dropped towards it a candle on it. Yeah. I can't remember. So, candle. Yeah, Fab's side is smashed, but my side Wouldn't is recommend fine. if you're clumsy. Yeah. 
The lamp's from The Range? Yeah. Lamp's from The Range, don't have a clue where that's from. That's from Primark, don't have a clue where that's from. These it's are handy, our vitamins, but I need to refill them. Yeah, we've got um, our vitamin trays that we have every night. And then up here, we've got our Decenio prints again. All of the prints in the house, apart from a couple of like two, are from... Decenio. They're from Decenio, so all of these are from Decenio. Ella made um, the middle one. Oh yeah, actually I made that middle one on wood. Yeah. And then we've got the TV on the wall, which again is put up with grip hits. Mm -hmm. We've had this um, TV for years. Yeah, this is the best thing we ever did in this house, I think. Yeah. This TV on the wall. Yeah, that's on a bracket as well for us to turn and watch. We in watched bed. so much TV um, in bed, so yeah, that was good. Then over here we've got the sheepskin rug, which is actually from IKEA. We've got this huge mirror that's from the range. I think this was like eighty pounds, wasn't it? Hundred pounds. Oh, oh no. no. We've got this chest of drawers, which we actually upcycled ourselves. Mm -hmm. This is the IKEA one, but we just painted it again. But we are going to have, unfortunately, have to get a new one because this one is falling apart now, which is really unfortunate. But yeah, um, we did try. We tried to upcycle and not buy new. But we've got our bum vase here, which is where was this from? It's from the range. The range. It's cheap as well. The range. And the and, and the things are from. These are from. Yeah, they're from the range too. We've got some like fake pampas grass there. You've got this book here that um, my mum got us from TK Maxx, and we've got a candle which I don't know where that's actually from. This is from the range, this frame, but yeah, a girl called Chloe designed this for us, which is cool. And we've got a very tired wooden bin that we need to get a new one. So in here, um, we this was just a cupboard normally when we moved in, but we've actually transformed this into our wardrobe because we've not really got space to put a wardrobe with everything else, so we thought to like save space and have a wardrobe as such, we would make this into a wardrobe. So we've just basically just put two hanging rails in here. So we've got my clothes there and then Fab's clothes at the back. Fab is luckily fort like, fortunate enough to be tall, so he can just reach in and grab out his stuff. Um, and I can obviously reach mine here. Mm. And then we've just got room as well. Yeah, there's actually room for two of these, but we just haven't got two. Mm. It's a bit of a mess, but it works. It does work, yeah. And yeah. it saves a lot of space. So. Also, our bed is an ottoman. I think that's what you call it. Yeah. So we've got storage under there. Hands down, favourite thing about the house is the view that we get here. It's absolutely incredible. It was the thing that sold us straight away. It just looks absolutely incredible at sunset and sunrise. Doesn't it? Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. Could you just hear that? That was just my tummy. Not your tummy? You can not hear that? It sounds a little bit like you. It's us from the future here to show you some cherries. Not the fruit <laughs> specifically, but we've done a cherries order. Cherries have very kindly sponsored this video again. We've worked with them loads in the past. We love cherries, don't we? We do. Almost as much as bananas. So we got this big old box, and we've also got, <laughs> Ellen went very overboard <laughs> on this. Oops. So we're going to show you some of our favourite things from cherries that we've got in this order. There's, there's a lot. What? We bought some new... Pillows for the bed. Some pillows for the bed. And we've actually got four. These aren't actually, well, two of them are going to be on our bed, but the other two are going to be for the spare bed. Is that your phone, man? Cherries? You want discount? Cherry's just text us and saying use this discount code here and you can get money off. When we say that cherries do everything, they okay, they do whatever you want and like they, it's probably a quid as well. It's very everything. cheap. In fact, we also got one of these, which is for hanging your stuff outside. You can totally use that today for all those socks. Oh. Yeah, they do like loads of like food, they do like loads of sweets. Oh yeah, we have to stock up on the old chocolate and sweets. Yeah, sweets. Ellen even got some hula hoops. Her oh, breath's gonna be stinking after these. Seriously. Right, I've decided I'm sending <laughs> no. you to cherries. No, Fab! You're going to cherries. Deodorant, I need some of this today. Oh, we even got some more vacuum packed bags. Right. They do like all of your detergent, softness, detergent washing tablets, makeup wipes. Oh, you got me some washing up liquid. Yes. And it's antibacterial. <laughs> She's even got herself a, a new car air freshener. Everything on cherries is like, it's, it's actually cheaper than what it would be. Your usual shop. And you've got discount on top of that. So and things will be super cheap. Yeah, and it's delivered to your door, which we find really helpful for stuff like this. Thank you, Cherries, for supporting us, sponsoring this video. Go and click the link in the description if you want to shop them. Go and buy yourself some beef hula hoops, but... Yeah. 
make sure you brush your teeth after. Carpets that we've got throughout the house were fitted by Taylor Wimpy. In fact, all of the flooring in the house was all from Taylor Wimpy. Okay, so back out of the bathroom. Back out of the bathroom. Back out of the bedroom. In here, we've got our bathroom. Since our last one, we've actually painted in here. We've painted it grey. Same grey as downstairs, Goose Down by Deluxe. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we've got our prints on the walls here, which are all from Decenio as well. They're really cute. I love this one because it stares at you in the shower and it makes you giggle. We've got the same marble tiles as we do downstairs in the kitchen. And then we've got these white shelves from Danelle with a couple of little, little bit of... With a... With a few accessories on. And also my anti-aging serum because I'm actually 85 but I've just been using <laughs> this for a while. This mirror is from Ikea, yeah. isn't it? Which I actually like, fits in well there. And then we've got some marble things on the sink. Marble is just, a, I feel like it's a very safe... I mean, like, those look a bit crap now. Oh, Do you man. think? Those yeah, are the only things nice. The only thing about this bathroom that we don't like is the fact that it doesn't have a window. Yeah. Like in our next house, we've said we'll like we'll want to have a window. Yeah, because it's very like clinical and artificial in here. Yeah. The bath, marble tiles again. Then we've got my side with all the soaps and stuff, and also Ellen's side, which we try and keep tidy, but it doesn't really happen at all, does it? It goes out the window. <laughs> they all like fall this off is and tidy. slide off into the bath. However, this is tidy. We've got this little rack that we got oh, yeah. from Home Sense. Yeah. And then these, which are from the label mummy, are they? On Instagram. On yeah. Instagram. She kindly sent us those. She gifted us those, and they are they keep it nice and organised. And then we actually had to replace this shower one year yeah. into living here because I broke it. Yeah. Um, shout out Jack who came and replaced this for us. Coming into our spare room slash office which has actually changed a lot since the last video. Come on through. So to the right this is like the spare room section where we have got our sofa bed which we got from made.com made.com which was obscenely expensive wasn't it like 500 quid or something. Yeah. Mad. And it's, it's not, not the comfiest comfy. thing in the world. Oh! These cushions are from Primark, aren't they? Yeah. And then we recently did some panelling on the wall, which we did ourselves. was super easy actually, wasn't it? Yeah. And we painted that like a really nice light pink colour. We have got this mirror, which was actually installed by Ellen and her sister, which was hilarious watching that footage back. Roll a clip of that. No, this is why I said do a drawing. Have you got like a stick? Like a bamboo stick? Stick. <laughs> I don't have a stick. Oh. Ah! Ah! The mirror! <laughs> <laughs> I just cut my finger! Where's the tape measure? Oh. I don't know, I dropped it. Oh. But this is from... Was, Ikea. That's from Ikea. Fits yeah. nicely there, doesn't it? Yeah. A bit of gold to go with the pink. Yeah. We have got a little table by the side of the sofa bed, which is again marble and gold with a vase which is from Primark Home with some pampas grass and then a little body, um, a little sculpture of my body <laughs> which we got done recently. We've got a shelf up here which is a bit out of place, looks a bit weird. Okay, and then we've got my dressing table, typical dressing table that everyone seems to have got from Ikea. I don't yeah, know everyone's, everyone's like, got this, haven't they? I don't know what it's called, mum or something, I don't know. Um, then my chair which is from Argos. Then underneath I've got this little basket which is from the White Company which I actually bought with a voucher when we moved in because somebody bought me a voucher for the White Company so I bought that. Then we've got my mirror which I can't remember for the life of me where it's from but I think it was only like £9. Um, and then we've got all my perfumes over there and all my hair stuff over here. This is where Ellen gets ready every morning yeah. and I have to come and pass her. What's the thing that I have to wet every My day? Beauty her beauty blender. Mm -hmm. I have to wet that every morning and pass it to her. We've got this lampshade which is, I can't remember where it's from, can you? Um, I want to say the range. The back of the door's a bit of a mess but we've got like our dressing gowns, my bag that I take to work hanging on there. And then this is my domain where I spend every single day pretty much working from home. Um, I do go into work, I work as a videographer, but a lot of the time I'm at home editing and all of these videos, including this one you're watching now, will be edited here. I'll just run you through my office really quick. So the chair needs replacing, that is, it's not a very good chair. Exhibit A. Wow, um, that's just because you broke yeah, it. Yeah, it it's alright, it's not very really comfy. 
The desk is from Flexi Spa and it's actually a standing desk so you can heighten this and lower it which is perfect for me because I'm tall. I have got a iMac which is not mine, it's from work because I do a lot of video editing and I need a machine that can handle it. This mouse which I actually got from Amazon which was only £12 and it's amazing. Little pen holder, a lamp in the corner, the IKEA pegboard on the wall which holds all the things that I grab every day. So my personal laptop, keyboard, mouse, an old camera which doesn't work before people comment about the sensor being exposed. I know some pictures of me and Ellen, little bits, and then we've got a couple of framed pictures. This one is me when I went surfing the other day, down the road actually. And this is also me when my hair was a bit longer. Neither of them are him. Why are you lying so that. much today? No, I'm joking. I like surfing, I like skating, so these are nice little memoirs to have on the wall. We've got a shelf up here with some fake plants, Xbox controller, random little bits. To the left, we have got my stand with my cameras on, some lighting, just little bits that I need to store, and it looks really cool on this like tr tray, what would you call it? Yeah, like a trolley. Like a trolley that I got from Ikea. All black theme, as you can tell. <laughs> We've got my whiteboard up on the wall. I, this is one of the best investments. It's a glass whiteboard. I'll link it below. Every day, I write out a list on here, personal and work. We have got this print from Desenio, which is my life list. And it's got like places to visit, things I want to do. I love having that there because I can look at it every day and it's a reminder. This has changed a lot over the period of our time being here. I probably will change it again soon and have a little mix up, but I love it. I spend a lot of my time here. <laughs> right, so this is the garden. If um, She's speaking quiet because she's scared yeah, of other people yeah, hearing exactly. it. Come on, she's don't be weird. scared. It's not weird. So we renovated our whole garden this, this time last year. Yeah, we've got the big patio here now. We've got the shed. This is artificial grass either side now. We've got rid of the real grass and put artificial in. Um, and then at the end, we've now got a humongous decking area. Very rainy and horrible at the moment, but I'll put some clips over the top of it looking sunny. Here's where we, oh my God, what is that doing out here? Here's where we have the barbecue area. Um, that's to go to the tip. <laughs> And then here's our shed, which is from home base, which is very small, but it does the job. Fits in the corner there perfectly. This is our decking and pergola, which my dad helped us build. Well, pretty much he did it. I, I drove a few screws in, that was about it. But this has absolutely changed the garden. When you get it standard, the, the garden's crap. The layout is not very good. They put a huge shed that blocks all of the sun. So we took that away, got the smaller shed and put all this decking and pergola here, which is amazing for the summer. Ellen made these flower beds herself, didn't you? Yeah. And we've planted some flowers there recently, actually. Down the side, we put some stones, which are like flecked pink and white ones. We moved the path over to the center because I don't know why it wasn't central to begin with. It was like off to the left, which was really weird. So that is the end of our house tour. If you watched our one from previous one, was it like last year? Yeah, two years ago? a while ago. Yeah, a while ago, you'd have seen that a lot has changed. We've added some more things. We've added a little bit more character to it. And we also like made it our own. Like I feel like we've properly put our touch on it now. Yeah. There what are would you say things. is like the, the one thing we did that properly made it at home? Our bedroom. Bedroom? Yeah. Yeah, that's not changed that much though really, is it? A little bit, I guess. Mm. But we do love that room. Yeah. I say the garden. I do love the garden. Mm. We have still got a lot of things that we want to do, but if you own a house, you, you'll know it's like, it's not a it's not quick process. Yeah. It takes a while. If you're new here, then please subscribe because we upload every week, don't we? Every Thursday, 6 p.m. Every single Thursday. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.